door. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? The aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new cookie mobster cone, and the other is enraptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo, that was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations, though. Let's pack up those pride decorations. See my buddy? Let's go. We have to pack him up. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. This place looks great. must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you. I love these so much. Our lettering was on. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people and recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> Every time I look at this, I feel... Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Oh. 
Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set. Happy Friday, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA Youth Shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Guess that's everything. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride, just like everyone else here once was, and they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Cute. What the hell am I doing here? Steph, you know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first, But first, another track. Okay, work mode, go. Same shit, different day. Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Happy hour, right? Yes, 
happy hour, where the already great food and beers are even cheaper, but only for an hour. What a deal. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to live music on Monday evenings, or maybe Sunday evenings. If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Got any tips for staying mentally healthy inside a tiny little booth? Asking for a friend. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but... I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this, getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. I wouldn't say that. I've never left anyone without feeling bad. Ah, uh, but feelings are portable. You can take them with you straight out of town. Hmm. So I learned this the hard way, but... The idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling in the radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Freaking Violet. I haven't responded to her question yet. Uh, I really don't feel up to playing this game right now. What? I should put on a happy face and play nice. But God, I don't know if I have the energy.
download a message. Version. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Man, what do I even say? Fuck you, app. <laughs> KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto... Sales. Grimley's Auto Sales. Haven Springs' most trusted name in used cars. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for... a darn long time. Like, since the caveman days, when you had to stick your feet through the bottom of the car and just walk real fast. That's a level of experience you can trust. So if you or someone you love is a car, you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. I had a lot of fun with Vi. Ugh, what is wrong with me? Have a big decision to make? A nerve-wracking event on the horizon? Wish you knew how it all turns out? With one little call, you can. Give me a ring and have your fortune told right here on air. It's cheaper than life insurance. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. They don't have any weird gimmicks going on this Halloween, just serving the cold stuff. 
all treat, no tricks. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. Who does the monster mash? Yep, just right there in the store. Mash it up, get a free cone. Anyway, check it out. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. Man, it's all haven't been on top of my game lately, I guess. Psh, Kasha, you're still cool as hell. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what... Scroll up faster. Oh, lol.
still needs doing. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. No, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. Rung by rung, sucker. 